Hello, the game has started. It's me to go fast. This looks quite a nice rack. I don't think there's a bingo here. I could play Diwani and play off six tiles. But I think Iwi is going to leave a better rack leave and provide fewer floaters for my opponent. Great. I draw the first blank and an S. Iwi takes an S at the end. I have Anadems and Minads with the blank as an M. The two hotspots are column 8, top and bottom, for bingos beginning or ending with I. And column 11, in particular, if I can get an S in fourth place. It should be very likely that I will bingo. I don't think my opponent can block all my bingo lanes. Now, do I have a bingo beginning with I? Can't see one. Now, what about ending an I? Unlikely. Right. What I'm going to do is go through the alphabet looking for... Well, let me first check that I do have a playable bingo. Picks has actually blocked Menads and Anadems, but any bingo ending ES or AS will play. So I'm going to go through the alphabet looking for seven letter bingos. Firstly, to find one which plays, and secondly, to see if I have a double double, which would have to have SI in it. Well, I can see immediately I don't have one because the blank is an I is Nayade. So great, I have got Nayades in column 11. Let me just see if I've got a double-double bingo. Well, I don't because the blank would have to be an I or a U. So that would be Sornard. Well, I'm going to play Nayades. I don't think there's an awful lot of difference between these plays. And I don't think it's worth time spending or worth spending time looking for a column 8 play. Nayades, 75. Reasonably good. I've got an N to go with the U. I've got an F for score. It's balanced in terms of vowels and consonants. I can't see a 7 with this rack. Close to uniform. Uninformed. Onto med. Can't see anything through the eye of Ewees. Ewees takes a K in front, and I think that's it. The only floaters, therefore, are in Nayades. N, very unlikely. I've got the non-prefix as well as the un-prefix. Can't see anything through the A. The I, also unlikely. Okay, so I don't think I have, I have got a bingo here, so my priority is sorting the rack out. I would like to play off one of the Ns and the U. And the F, so a play of fun leaving INOR wouldn't be too bad. Can't see anywhere for that to score well. Picks takes a Y after it for future reference. That could be quite a high scoring spot. Column 9 is also quite hot for putting a letter in front of PE and in front of X, but I can't do that. Braille, I'm not sure if that takes an S. It may do. Now, can I stick my F on this double word square? I don't think so. So can I play off F, U, and N? Well, I could play fun and in. That actually is not too bad. It doesn't give very much away, unless my opponent's got a six-letter play. 
which is unlikely. The downside is it's only nine points. So can I do better? Well, that's nine points. If I play Foin up here, it's 26 points. Well, the U certainly isn't worth 17 points. So Foin is a better play. Quite good. It could have been a lot worse. I can't see a seven. I don't have any scoring tiles. I may struggle to score, but I should be able to leave a decent rack leave. I've got fund in row A if my opponent doesn't take that spot, but he's may well, since there aren't too many openings on this board. There probably are some sevens, sorry, some eight letter bingos with this rack, but there aren't really any floaters to consider apart from the I of Ewees and the W. Now my A can go after the W. I'm looking at non-bingo plays here, but I certainly would like to play off the U. And the only way I can do that down from the W is W, or the only play I can see playing the U is war, but that keeps two ends, which isn't good. Uni would also be be fine. I've got an, an 80 point lead, so a bingo by my opponent would bring us neck and neck. If my opponent does play across from the F, he's unlikely to be opening anything up. Well, he doesn't. And he's provided some pretty useful floaters. So do I have a bingo? And I, in particular, I'm looking at E, S and T. Gosh, I may not. What about Indurant? I don't feel confident about that, although it would play. What about the E? Unrained? I don't think so, but doesn't have an anagram, which is good. This will be quite a high probability bingo to miss. There's also the L. Can't see anything there. F 15 minutes on my clock. So I Indurant, does it have an anagram? I don't feel good enough about it to, to try it. There's also the R as a floater. Can't see anything with the S. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to play Fund. Hopefully some of these nice floaters will remain available. And Rain goes quite well with E, S and T. And I'm providing another bingo lane in column 15. That looks pretty good. I've got Sprained in row M. I've got Dipterant in row L, Panniard in row K. They all remain available. Do I have anything down from the D? Don't think so. So I think Sprained is looking pretty good. It takes out the S, it doubles the P. I don't think opening up column 15 is particularly dangerous because my opponent will struggle to put a high scoring tile on the double letter square above the D. Ah, before I do this though, what about row K as a double double? Panniard? Panniard works. Great. Well, I'm glad I didn't click done on sprained and this is much safer there are no vowels next to premium squares panny at 94 nice rack well actually it's not particularly nice i've got five vowels but i do have a scoring tile in the w 
so it should be fairly easy to resolve. I don't think there are any seven or eight letter bingos here. Rowie is good. That plays at L1. R-O-W-I-E, keeping A-E. Quite useful to turn over a lot of tiles. Now I've got a good lead. And there's still a blank out there. Rowie would also obstruct the S of Triolets. I'm looking... Ooh, ouch. Okay, that's annoying. Panniard comes off. So, is there an alternative bingo with that rack through the E? Gosh, how frustrating. If only I'd clicked done with sprained. Now my opponent has, has blocked the bingos in trio lays. There's Dipteran through a T. That's been blocked and the T of Triolets doesn't work. Do I have anything through T-O? Possibly. I can't see anything beginning with the D. Can't see anything ending in O. Can't see anything ending in L. Can't see anything beginning with L. Gosh, maybe my opponent has blocked all of my bingos and he's in the lead. How things change. And only 12 minutes on the clock and still more than half the tiles to come. Do I have something through SH? Ship is good as a suffix. Got the ED ending. Predation. It uses these letters but doesn't go. And I don't think predation has an anagram. What about EF? Can't see anything. Now, what about a double double non bingo if none of my bingos plays? Pardine is a seven. That doesn't play. Although it nearly does. Parallel to triolets. Now, maybe I should play off my P... And, and move on. I could spend a lot of time looking for a bingo which isn't there. Pad 25. Poe takes an A in front. Yeah, and I don't want to keep the D because there is the D of fund. Pretty awful. I think I picked up three E's there. Anyway, I have a slender lead. And the board is fairly blocked. Obviously, if my opponent bingos onto the T or R or down from the D, he'll be in a good position. Now, I've got Sheenia. That's... Placing an R in column 15, needlessly opening up the triple word lane with without scoring enough points to justify doing that. I certainly don't have anything down from the D. So I don't think there are bingos with this rack. And I have no scoring tiles. I note that the pixie spot is still available with both Y's out there. 
Great, only 12 points for my opponent. Some respite. And what I've just spotted is I have redefine. And I'm going to play this quickly because it's going to score quite well and I'm mindful of the time. Redefine 48. Ah, I was going to say I've drawn the Y, but I have, of course, blocked that hot spot. I have the Z, which is an excellent scoring tile. Now, in terms of bingo lanes, my opponent has blocked the T and R, or blocked the T and obstructed the R. So there's column 13 for sticking a letter on the end of redefine and column 15 beginning with D. Yes is good, so that would play in row J, Y, E, Z. That would be quite nice. It would obstruct column 13 bingos. This triple letter square next to AL looks quite hot. But do any high scoring tiles go next to it? Well, the M does. And the C, I think Cal is good. Might not be. I don't think Redefine takes a P in front. However, both P's have gone. But there is a blank out there. By takes an O in front, so row B is available for bingos ending in O. Not many of those. Now, looking at the scores, I've got a 50-point lead. So a bingo would put my opponent in front, by, but not by a huge margin. So at the moment, I've seen yes. And I haven't seen any alternate alternative plays. I'm wondering in row L if I could put my Z on this double letter square, but even if I did have a five letter play ending in E, sticking a Z in a triple word square isn't a great idea. Fantastic, yes remains available and my opponent doesn't score very much. And he's not, well he's provided a G, so he's opened up one bingo lane, but not a particularly useful one. So is yes best? 40 points. Can I score more than that? Razi is good. But I can't see anywhere great for that. Can't see anything going through SH. So I think I will stick Yez down. Rackley slightly vowel heavy. pretty good. I don't draw any vowels, so I now have a balanced rack, but not a particularly bingo -y one. Close to Grek eyes. I'm reluctant to play in row L, beginning at L1, because of the floaters it provides. Do I have a play down from the Z? which gets doubled. I've got craze, which doesn't get doubled, and it retains two Gs, which isn't good. A play of gauge or cage would sort the rack out. Wow, look at that, 46 points for my opponent. A good score for him. Now I've got Ager, which is slightly dangerous in that it opens up row O, but it turns over four tiles and it leaves a fairly balanced rack. 27 points, quite good. Now, what about playing in column six? Because this isn't a particularly dangerous spot, column 15. What about a play of surge? Well, I don't want to do that because there are still two S's out there. What about Cager? 
25 points. Not a great rack lead. Not a great score. Is there something else down here? Actually, I... Well, what about Gager? Or just Gage? 23 points. It's not giving very much away. Row H across to the G. Not particularly dangerous. Anything, any floaters opened up by that can probably be nullified by parallel plays. The rack leave, I like C double E R a lot better than G double E. Still drawing the vowels, I guess there are quite a few still to come. Not a great rack. Okay, but my C does go well with the K and my opponent's continuing to score well, so only ten points between us now. So, I can play Cloak, and I think I do need to play up here. Seven minutes on my clock, still 23 tiles to come. 33 points, a good score, not opening anything up. However, I was thinking about playing Locker for more points, and to increase my chances of drawing this remaining blank. However, Locker would open up column 2 as a bingo lane, and the R does help this rack leave, so I think I will stick with this. Great, that looks pretty promising. Column 15 still available. I've got... Great. Oh, I, 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 when I saw the challenge came in I was expecting to see this move coming off the board I did have a slight doubt about it but anyway I'm glad I played it so row A is now a bingo lane can't see anything column and I can't see anything in column 15 I do have Drears as a seven nowhere to play it at the moment Still looking at C and D. Also, I is a floater. Can't see anything there. I've got a 48-point lead. In terms of scoring tiles, there's still the J to come. And my opponent's been quite adept at scoring, scoring well. 38-46. So I'm certainly not home and dry. Sacreder through the sea. That's in the wrong spot. I don't think Carades is good. I think it's Carados. Scareder also. So what to do with this rack? If I can't, bingo. I could play Yerd. 24 points. I certainly want to play off an R. And that's, that's all I have to play off, and even then I don't have to play it. Now, I have other bingos here. Dreers, I think I have Red Ears. Readers. What about Dreaders? Dreaders. Still available. I think I'm going to try it. I have some doubt. And my opponent is likely to challenge. I think because this is probably a game winning move. If it stays on, I've drawn the blank. But I'm just... Great, look at that. Challenged, stays on. Fantastic. I've now got a 110-point lead, only nine tiles in the bag. They're not particularly bingo And I'm sitting with the blank on my rack. 
My opponent immediately opens a bingo lane in row O. Four tiles in the back. I don't think he's got a bingo. Even if he does, I can probably survive it. So I either need to bingo myself now or leave one in the bag, which I should be able to do. Well, I can certainly kill this lane by playing Vo or Yuva. Vor. Is there a bingo here? Five vowel bingo. I don't think there's a seven. I don't think there's one beginning with C. Not much else to consider. So I think Vor. I'm just noticing the number of O's. I'm likely to get another O, which is a shame. So another possibility would be to play EAU, keeping the V. Well, I think this is this is winning. And this stops my opponent scoring well with a J with a play of Joko. So I'm inclined to play this, and I hope I haven't overlooked a bingo. Well, I don't draw another O. That's quite surprising. So my opponent, there's either an O in the bag or my opponent's got three. And he may have a bingo, but I... Th oh. Well, I was going to say with a 110 point lead, I'm safe, but there's going to be a lot of count back. 36 points. So actually, if my opponent bingos with the C right now, ah, he'll be drawing the one tile in the bag, which is the reason one leaves a tile in the bag. So I will definitely get another go. So I think this game is won. I can't see a bingo with this rack. So what I'm really need to do is simply find somewhere good for the J. It could go in front of Ag, so I could play G. That's not going to score very much. I'm wondering if I've got to play across from L1. Well, I would certainly need to use the blank, but that's not a problem. I'm certainly not going to be bingoing with the blank. So 109 point lead at the moment. And not a great set of tiles for my opponent. I don't think any seven of them makes a bingo beginning with the C, although I may have missed something. Glam takes nothing in front of it, so I can't play down column three. I think an L, a five-letter L1 play would score the most. Okay, my opponent's played off just the O. I can see what he's got left. He's got, he's actually got Tautons on his rack. I don't think SOR is good. Tautons doesn't play anywhere else. I, I think I will play in row A because I think. Well, not only is it blocking the best bingo lane, but I think I can also score best here. So I can play Joko. For 39 points, which is a good score, I'm keeping double E H. Can I go out with that? If I can't, I may need to find a better, better play than Joko. Let me just have a think. 
I, I do want to play the J off. I don't like keeping a high scoring tile on my rack. Just in case my opponent's able to bingo, for example, through a G. I'd rather play off the J and not have to think about every possibility for my opponent. Now, J goes in front of OR, so do I have any plays ending in J? I've got Hadge. Is there anything else? No, I've got Con G, but that doesn't work. A play could end in C. Three minutes on my clock. Um, how how annoying. Is Joko really the best I can do? Two minutes on my clock. I'm just looking for J plays. Haven't seen anything yet. Well, D goes in front of OR. So I could play Jeed, keeping O-C-H, and then Lock is good, and Roch is good. So maybe I should do this. 32 points. It's a smaller score, but being able to go out in one is worth a lot. Yes, and I've got Hock and Hag, so this guarantees the out in one. So I've got lock for 18. And now if my opponent does bingo, I am sufficiently far ahead that I will still win. Roch might be good. I think it is. Now my H could have gone on this triple letter square, but I don't have an out in column 14. Chog, I think, is good. I would have Echo beginning with an E. Now, my opponent has got no scoring tile, so unless he's got a bingo, and I don't think he does, he's in quite poor shape. I have Oki, O-C-H-E, for 14 points. I can't see a way of putting my O under the J. OCH and Hock are the two three-letter plays that I have. I've got Chock in row A. So plenty of outs here for me. I would have Coho onto an O. 18 for my opponent. He's blocked lock. But he hasn't blocked Oki. For 14. There may be something slightly better. But I think I will put this game to bed. Just wait for my opponent to formally end the game. Which he does. And the final score, 329 to my opponent, 461 to me, a winning margin of 132 points. So a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. It was me to go first. I thought about Diwani, but didn't like the idea of wrecking the rack, so played Iwi instead, and I still like that play. My opponent's rack, and as you can see, a short play Provides far fewer options for my opponent. He plays picks. And I played Nyades, Nyades for 75. And that was the highest scoring bingo. My opponent's rack. He plays Braille. And I played Foyne for 26. Which is fine. Nice rack for my opponent. He has Triolets and a bunch of others. 
Now, did I miss something here? I didn't, and I played Fund, which looks fine. Horrible rack for my opponent. He plays Chi, and this is where I phonied. And A15. So, there was a bingo beginning with the D, Drepanid, which I didn't see. Sprained was the second highest scoring bingo. That's what I put down and then took off. And there were others. My opponent's rack, he does very well in terms of blocking bingos. So Drepanid's still available. And the that was the only available bingo. So it's quite an unusual word. And although I've studied it, it didn't remotely come to mind. Hopefully it will if it comes up again in future. So what did I do? I played Pad for 25 and that looks pretty good amongst the non-bingos. Horrible rack for my opponent. He plays Bite. And not a great rack for me. But fortunately, I did see Redefine, which is clearly the best move. My opponent plays Glam. I now have the Z. I played Yes for 40. I could have got 58 at D4. Oh wow, through the G. However, although it's scoring 18 more points, its rack leave is worse, which probably accounts for maybe five or six points, maybe a bit less, but it's also sticking the Z for a play across from H1, so I think the gap between these two plays is a lot less than 18 points, but I don't know exactly what it is. Anyway, this was my opponent's rack, and he plays Wiry for a good score. Now, I don't have a great rack, and I struggled a bit here. I thought about playing Eager for 27, didn't like opening up row O. And in the end, I played Gage, which I like. It's a, a tight move, and it's keeping a decent rack leave. And as you can see from the score of 23, it's not too far behind the other plays. My opponent opens the board up for Kyver and scores well. So now is only 10 points behind. But I'm able to play through the K for a decent score to kill off my opponent's opening. Although I am opening two new bingo lanes. Horrible rack for my opponent. He plays Yeti. And I have Dreaders, which took me a while to see. But I got there in the end. This is my opponent's rack. Wow, no O's at all at this point. He plays Mutant. I don't have a bingo, and I think the right thing to do is to play in row O. So I play Vor. So my opponent played Mutant and picked out three O's. Pretty brutal. He plays off one of them. And this is my rack. Jihu D14. Okay, so Jihu down here for 47. Pretty good. I suppose that's... Well, I'm just wondering if SOR is good, and I certainly should know that, but if it is, then my opponent would have Teutons, and it wouldn't be best to play G here. So, I played G, so I didn't need to worry about whether SOR was good. And my opponent doesn't really have anything. Chog was good for 14, but Oki scored the same, so was equally the best play. So quite a dramatic game. I got myself into a bit of trouble by phonying and then not being able to to bingo. And it's in moments like that that you need to not get too upset and try and keep playing and still keep trying, taking risks. I wasn't 100% sure of Cloak. And there may have been another player that I wasn't totally sure of, but it's easy to to play a phony, doubt yourself, and then play too far within yourself, only playing words you're sure of. And you need to try and play your, your same game, whatever. And it worked out here. I didn't play any more phonies and won by a comfortable margin. So I hope you enjoyed watching that, and I will see you next time.